Hello, y'all. It's 10.22 p.m. So, now I have even less space on my phone. <clears throat> but I'm scared to um, delete the data because I don't want to lose my important files. So, now I think I got like 6 gigabytes on my phone when I'm supposed to have at least eight and a half or nine. <clears throat> so it was n nice and warm. I think it was yesterday and today, but I heard Saturday night it's supposed to be like 43 or 44 degrees, really cold. So, hold up. <clears throat> so, now it looks like I only have enough room for one or two videos. Um, I mean, I need a new phone anyway. But, I'm a, I got to postpone that. But it's harder for me to read things and see things with this phone being cracked. Dog, I hate it that that happened. But I'm trying to get my mind together. Um, <clears throat> so this video probably won't upload until tomorrow. Um, I knew, I figured it was, I mean, I guess it wasn't too, too heavy, but I had some significant gang stalking today because it's Veterans Day. <clears throat> and I remember how hard I had it for, um, Election Day 2020. Oh, that was such a, I thought, I almost thought I wasn't going to make it that day. Um, but I made it through. They were trying to get me either locked up in a mental institution or killed. Everywhere I went that day, I'm like, wow, what is going on? Or, I mean, or jailed or something. <clears throat> so, so I got another week here and... It's like my fault, my mistake that um, I accidentally bought some food that wasn't meant to be microwaved. So I guess I have to give it away. <clears throat> but um, my mistake. But so that's why I had to eat out today. But, you know, I wasn't sure because, see, remember when I told y'all about what the gang stalkers are doing, <clears throat> nothing is guaranteed and I have to live day to day. <clears throat> you know, so I, I mean, that's another reason why I ate out today because <clears throat> I mean, I wasn't sure if I was going to get another week here or and have to be on the street, back on the streets, so or what, what was going to happen? And so, <clears throat> you know, I guess by Saturday, I mean, or Sunday, I have to try to do some light grocery shopping, but <clears throat> I'm going to try to aim for some more, like, fruits and vegetables this weekend, and not so much the juices, because... I mean, the juices say cold press, but you know, I don't. I, I think I don't think the nutritional value is that as great as they say they are. The fact that they've been sitting on the shelves, even though it's in the, you know, the refrigerated section of you know. So, I'm gonna try to get me some fresh fruits and vegetables. You, you know, this weekend. <clears throat> but I have to eat it earlier in the morning because, well, for dinner time, we only get 30 minutes, you know, to eat. And then 
then we got to go back to, I mean, on your average job, you know. So if, if I were, I mean, I, I don't have the spare opportunity to get to eat a whole salad, you know, to, while I'm at work because it'll take me longer than 30 minutes to eat a salad. <clears throat> so, um... Boy, the traffic sounds like as if it's raining, but I don't think it is. <clears throat> so, I feel accomplished that I got more than one piece of writing done today. Um, I got one pe more than one. I got two things of writing done today, and um, so. It's really hard that, you know, to, you know, try to go on day to day despite what I'm going through. And, and it, it hurts, you know, that other TIs don't even want to associate with me, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it's well, it's something scary out here <clears throat> that um I I don't so, I don't too much see currently other targeted individuals doing videos like I do. Like most targets have quit doing videos. And disappeared from YouTube. I guess a lot of them got tired of the censorship. But some of them have sold out and became perps. So. <clears throat> I mean. It's, it's like. Imagine going, being a targeted individual and going to a restaurant and being cheated. Like they give you a half a bowl of whatever food and then charge you full price for that half a bowl of macaroni and cheese. And then act like as if they're trying to expect you to give them a tip. And then get an attitude with you, like when you ask for things that you need. And say if you order pancakes or waffles or order food, and then they deliberately on purpose play, play around and stand around for 30 minutes and leave your food to get cold. <clears throat> and then um, get an attitude. I mean, I mean, they'll give you your pancakes or waffle, but then hurry up and run off when you're trying to flag them down and they ignore you. And then they say that you're disrupting the whole restaurant when you politely ask for more syrup. I mean, I'm sorry, when you politely ask for the syrup that they never gave you. And then they get mad and throw the syrup on the table and then give you like a half a cup of juice and make sure the water... You know, they'll give you a proper amount of water, but some of them even give you a half a glass of water. And they give you all this horrible customer service and then turn around and act like they want to slip, trying to slick their way into it, trying to get a tip. Or if, if you pay by debit card or if you pay by cash, if you pay by cash, then they want to try to keep, like say if the meal costs nine twenty five and you give them $10, They'll try to keep your whole ten dollars and and then get an attitude and throw your seventy five cents at you, or they're trying to make it like it's no big deal that they um or even if your stuff is like seven twenty five and and you give them a ten dollar bill and then they look at you like you're crazy when you try to get your change back or they make it like something's wrong with you and they try to keep all your change try to keep all your money and just do all kinds of dirty stuff to you <clears throat> you know so 
Um, yeah, I've been getting that blue and red gang stalking again where <clears throat> if somebody's driving a blue vehicle and wearing a red shirt, I've been getting that pattern again. And, I mean, I, I don't know if, like, tonight, when I saw it looked like the cloud covering um, a half moon, that looked like a, the freaking all-seeing eye symbolism, like Illuminati symbolism. And then all around where elsewhere is a doggone clear sky. And the drone that was over that, it seemed like it disappeared. Maybe um, the cloud was covering the drone. So, I mean, everything's becoming darker and more sinister and satanic. And dang, when a whole bunch of Christians don't even like you or, or hate you or whatever, or people who say that they're Christian when they hate you <clears throat> and want nothing to do with you and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, it's just a cold world and, and it's, you know, traumatizing for me to constantly feel like Everything I do or say is just wrong. You know. <clears throat> and and I have to fight off everybody trying to control me. And then people who don't have my best interests at heart. Or people who hate and can't stand me. Are the main ones trying to dictate my life decisions. And then I end up unhappy. <clears throat> so I've been fighting for my rights to be happy. Um, and those same people falsely accuse me of liking to be miserable. When I don't, I prefer to be happy. But they get angry at me trying to be happy. <clears throat> you know, um, and people make it like as if you're negative when you speak the truth about certain things. And they think that, you know, life is supposed to be a fairy tale and everything is you know, super happy, go lucky all the time. <clears throat> and <clears throat> like a lot of narcissistic abusers, when you point out truth, they think you just want to be negative. And they always want you to be positive while they turn around and do dirty stuff. Like they do something wicked. And then when you point it out, they're saying you should be positive. But like, you're supporting something evil. How is that positive? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I mean, I noticed that they keep, again, manipulating and messing up my thumbs up and thumbs down on my YouTube videos. And they're also manipulating. I mean, they keep turning my comments off. And then other people get mad at me. I never turn off my comments. I never, ever turn off my comments. And then I try to fight them to get turned back on. And then they turn them off again. And it's like, I they want to make sure I lose them. And I wonder, who the hell is doing this? <clears throat> you know... That they can control and manipulate my thumbs up and thumbs down and the comments. Turn off my comments against my will. If I have seven comments, I mean seven likes. <clears throat> and then um, I have seven likes. And then I'll click on my video. And then realize I got only three likes. And then, um, like, on average, um, at least a minimum of 11 or more thumbs down on just about every video. 
and lately I've been noticing less views on my channel, on my videos, and less people have been commenting, and I've been getting like all around less support and less the less people and more more people betraying me and turning against me, and I'm just feeling so all alone by myself, <clears throat> and I'm just wondering why is it I'm wrong about everything. I never said I was right every about everything or perfect, but I mean, I haven't done anything worthy to deserve such strong hatred against me. And if, if I did, you know, during my teenage years or something, I was a kid and didn't know all that much better. You know, only doing and saying what I was taught and being brainwashed. Um, You know, but some people tell you to let go of the past but then they hold your past against you and make it like as if you're not supposed to change or better yourself like if somebody thought you were crazy 10 years ago they still stigmatize you and they still think you're crazy they don't think that i mean they think once you get the crazy label then it's done forever <clears throat> like like and there's no escaping or you're going to die being known for being a crazy person. And that's not a good feeling. <clears throat> you know, and it's like truthers can't even come together because there's so much division and hatred and infiltrators and everything like that, too. And so some people will say ego plays a part, too. <clears throat> so... I don't know. I guess I'm just doing mindless rambling right now because my anxiety is high and I'm, you know, feeling nervous and scared about a lot of different things and just feel like I need to, to do like an open journal, open diary, open journal. That's why I call it open talk. <clears throat> and, um, I feel like today went by slow. Um, and even though it was a day off, you know, I, I feel like, oh, I just can't wait for this day to be over with. But I kind of felt like odd not being at work, but then glad that I get to have a day off. But then to, I'm feeling like, oh, I don't feel like going to work tomorrow. <clears throat> but, oh, now I remember what I needed to talk about. Somebody was telling me, you know, encouraging me with my ebooks and say that, you know, don't do, don't upload books. On, I mean, don't, uh, you know, put books on Amazon Kindle anymore where, where I will have a middleman and that I should just do things independently. And, um, like, I know nothing about marketing or anything like that, but, <clears throat> you know, I, I, I also, like, at first I was trying to do my short stories and put it on my blog, but it's like, mostly everybody was ignoring me and not paying attention, like, not caring about, you know, my blog or anything. People don't really care about my videos, feel like I'm just talking to the air like nobody wants to listen to me you know um and I try to be there to be supportive of others you know idiot <clears throat> and I forgot what else was said too but um and that person also was telling me I should find a pay per click website where basically I can get paid I guess if somebody just click on the website I don't know I, I don't know where to find those kind of websites you know if I were to try to do my short stories or anything like that because I would love to just stay here and chill oh I had a torturous miserable moment with the construction earlier but I mean, if I could just have more liberty with my life and just go anywhere or travel anywhere or just do whatever, whenever, 
as long as I'm not hurting nobody. I mean, instead of having, you know, this job, you know, I, I say I wish I can get paid from my writings. And I think about, damn, if I had a permanent place to live, I wish I would have known back in 2017 or 18, you know, if I could have done cooking videos myself and monetized it, monetized the channel, or soap making videos and monetize the channel. But I, I wasn't sure about how to go about doing that back then. <clears throat> and, um, but knowing that, I mean, I didn't know I was gang stalked at the time. Well, I guess I did know, but I couldn't pe put the pieces of the puzzle together. But I was being gang stalked at that time. And, um, you, you know, if I were to try to make a video, a cooking video, then then the neighbors would have caused like a noise campaign on purpose. And, and they would have made sure I couldn't be successful with trying to make the um, cooking video. Like they would create a whole bunch of noise to stop my cooking video and then I had to get into an argument with them so I mean I even thought about like since I had to stay week week by week here and this place is way too small is the one another reason why you know I thought about maybe experimenting with like a crock pot but then I have the job too so I don't have all that much spare time but if I were to like experiment with a crock pot and make like a recipe I mean I thought about even some microwave recipes but a crock pot or microwave recipes and um and do like a recipe ebook I thought about because I had to get my hands back on cooking again so if I were to make like a soup or casserole um kind of recipe book ebook, you know I would love to do something like that. But I, I mean I have to I mean me staying week to week or living day by day and never know when if or when I will lose my my job or place to live. You know I I mean I get nervous about that. You know. If I go to buy a crock pot tomorrow or something and then buy all these ingredients or go grocery shopping and then boom, Saturday, oh, I, I, you know, back on the streets again, I get a, I get a, and then have to just, and then have nobody to give the food to or nobody wants the food and I have to be just forced to throw it away <clears throat> and then me be back on the streets. I'm just like scared of that what the gang stalkers would try to do. You know, so, um, I, I don't know, it's just frustrating. Every day is, like, scary, you, you know, it's like I can't even get comfortable with staying here. I can't get comfortable with, with living here or staying here because of, you know, I have to, instead of getting comfortable and relaxed here, I have to just live day to day being scared like oh no I hope today isn't the day you know fear of you know being back on the streets homeless you know um because what the perps have been threatening me and and the online perps they think they can meddle in my business because they think they have total control over me and 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 I gotta keep fighting them fighting them off you know, I got to keep f trying to fight them off. <clears throat> and they want total control over me. And they, I mean, it's bizarre and insane what's going on. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> so today is my youngest brother's birthday, but you know, fuck him because he been freaking hating my guts for I don't know how many years for no damn reason. You know, even before Hurricane Katrina or anything like that. You know, he never really loved me or anything like that. And then five days later, my brother Sean's birthday too. But 
three days from now is my nephew John's birthday, and I freaking hate him too. But my brother Sean, I don't hate my brother Sean, but Dirty Derricka, yeah, go fuck yourself. Another narcissistic abuser, woman beater, like the foster brother Joe, whose criminal, illegal, satanic birthday was freaking three days ago, the 8th. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it's like the foster brother Joe and the biological youngest brother, Dirty Derricka, you know, they both have a lot of similar qualities, you know. We got so many November birthday and December birthdays in the family. Just mentally slow, crazy, biological family. <clears throat> you, you know, I mean, all these people who hate and try to destroy you for no reason at all. <clears throat> like, Thanksgiving is coming up. Even if I did celebrate it nowadays, I don't have no doggone family. And so, you know, I would not be welcome or allowed at family functions. And if I do, I got I got to get treated like shit and be yelled at and abused for no reason. So, oh, and today is also um the foster sister. I mean, I'm sorry, the foster sister April's daughter Kayla's birthday as well. A static major from uh, the music group player. So I got to go.